Hi there. This is a common trap theme that can manifest itself in many different openings. This trap is called the Pins and Needles Trap and it's in the rarely played England Charlick Gambit. After d4, black plays the immediate e5, reminiscent in a sense to the Budapest Counter Gambit. This is the England Charlick Gambit, rarely played because of its overall poor reputation and perhaps the only top player ever to have played it at top level was the legendary Estonian Paul Keris. Well, white does best to accept the gambit, d takes on e5. And I'll also mention that um, the England Charlick gambit, named after nothing to do with England, but Fritz England was a Swedish player, and Henry Charlick was Australian. After knight c6, trying to get at the pawn, the e5 pawn, knight f3 defends, queen e7, common theme here, the queen lends, its, uh, lends itself to try and get at the e5 pawn. Well, white can play bishop g5 here, or the more natural bishop f4 to defend. But now the queen switches back to the queen side with queen b4. This is a common idea of the England Charlick. The queen is checking the king as well as hitting the bishop on f4 and the pawn on b2. Well, it's quite easy for an average player to get into serious trouble here with the white pieces. If queen interposes, queen d2, giving up the b-pawn, and queen takes on b2, white's idea being queen c3 now, defends the rook on a1, and then black is winning after bishop b4. It's game over because the queen is being pinned and the queen is lost. So rather than queen takes, uh, sorry, rather than queen interposing on d2, Bishop d2 is better for white. And now after queen takes on b2, the same idea. If now bishop c3, then black plays the same idea. Bishop b4, pinning that bishop, threatening bishop takes bishop. So if white defends with queen d2, then black is winning after bishop takes on c3. Now queen takes on c3, but that allows the queen to come in the other direction and mate on c1. That's a bit embarrassing. Well, what's the best line for white? The best line for white here is after the check, the bishop does drop back to d2, and after queen takes on b2, white should happily give back that pawn, and a knight c3 is having all bases covered. Rook b1 is going to be the next move with a serious advantage for white. So this has been the Pins and Needles Trap in the England Charlotte Gambit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.